Hello friends, welcome to Green Peach YouTube channel. This channel will discuss about high yielding and most repeatedly asked questions for those who are preparing for medical PG entrance. If you didn't subscribe our channel so far, please do it and click the bell icon next to it to receive notifications. Feel free to click the like button and share your comments. Today we will discuss about some of the important points of folic acid. acid. The other name for folic acid is vitamin B9. The word folic acid is derived from the Latin word folium which means leaf of vegetables. As the name indicates, the major source of folic acid is the leafy vegetables. Folic acid is absorbed mainly from the small intestine, especially from the upper part of the jejunum. Structurally, this folic acid is similar to chiral glutamic acid. Important point that you have to remember is that the active form of folic acid is tetrahydrofolic acid, THFA. There are different methods to determine the deficiency of folic acid in the human body. The most important method is the serum folate level determination. The normal serum folate level is 2 to 20 nanogram per ml. The other test includes histidine load test or FIGLU excretion test and the ICAR excretion test. Deficiency of the folic acid can lead to megaloblastic anemia. It can also cause homocystinemia. In the human body, homocysteine is converted to methionine with the help of a 1 carbon transfer. And for this 1 carbon transfer, active form of folic acid THFA is needed. So when the folic acid is deficiency, it leads to accumulation of homocysteine and lead to homocysteinemia. Deficiency of folic acid can also cause neural tube defect in the newborn baby. It can also cause atrophic glossitis. We can prevent the neural tube defect in the newborn baby by giving folic acid to the pregnant woman. Prophylactic dose of folic acid is 0.4 mg per day. Ideally, we have to start this folic acid preconceptionally. Why? Because the neural tube formation is completed by 6 weeks of gestational age. So, we have to give the folic acid preconceptionally. If the previous pregnancy is affected with the neural tube defect, then the current pregnancy we have to give 4 mg of folic acid that is 10 times the normal dose. Substances which are acting as antagonists of folic acid are alcohol, pyrimethamine and cortrimoxazole. So intake of these substances during the pregnancy can lead to abortion or congenital malformations. Another important point that you have to remember is that the folate transporter gene is located on the chromosome 21Q that is on the long arm of 21 chromosome. Thank you very much. If you listen to this video properly, you will definitely answer this question. Structurally, folic acid is option A, paraaminobenzoic acid, option B, teriyl glutamic acid, option C, teriyl aspartic acid, option D, all of the above. Yeah, that's it guys.